Hello guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. Today is kind of a sad day. It's a happy day in Boom Beach, but this is probably going to be the last video I record in this room forever. So be hyped for it. Um, there is a chance maybe one or t one, one probably will come out after this, but this could very well be the last one. And Jimmy might be uh, covering the next couple of days for me. So if you see a lot of Jimmy, you know why. Anyway. Today, guys, we have a level 62 spawned on our map, and we're going to take him down. And in addition to that, we're also going to take down Hammerman HQ 25. Now, here's the deal. The level 62 kind of clickbaited you guys into it, not clickbait per se, but he does have his HQ on the edge. So it's going to be an easy victory, but he's still a level 62, and it's pretty cool when we could say level 62. I probably won't put it in the thumbnail and title. I won't be that mean to you guys. But anyway, we're going to be taking down the Hammerman's HQ 25. Let's do this. So if you guys need tips, or first of all, give you guys a base update. Got a bunch of stuff. This account from now on is going to be offensive based uh, how I would play Boom Beach if I restarted now, which I did. So I'm just going to be going through Boom Beach and playing it how you should play it. So... Um, I do have to upgrade this. I upgraded that earlier today and it never upgraded. That's kind of stupid, but okay. Um, but yeah, I did upgrade it earlier today and never... Oh, frick. Okay. Okay, guys, here we go. I am pumped for <laughs> this attack. Uh, first of all, we do kind of need to take down this one sniper tower. Not take it down, per se, but just drop a lot of energy on it so our troops can easily come up and destroy it. Um, just so we don't have to worry about it too much later on. We should, we, we want our heavies as much as possible later on. So taking it down sooner is going to be a lot, lot better. So we're going to drop a flare over. The mortar is going to start being in range. So now we're just going to make our way around the base here. And the mortar is going to be in range now. Hopefully it won't kill any of my Zookas. No. Okay. And now it's just a time battle. We should be fine here. The mortar's gonna kill like, yeah, it's gonna one shot my heavies. That's that's not gonna work. I find it funny how I've gotten I played this game so much, and yet, alas, I know too little, and I cannot defeat Hammerman HQ, <laughs> Hammerman in HQ twenty five. There was a strategy behind this, and I just forget what the strategy is. But we're gonna retry it here in a second um, retrain jump back into it uh, yeah you definitely need to go from this side down here I'm not gonna drop energy on the sniper tower I'm just gonna draw my troops and let them walk up I really need to take it down as fast as possible though so we really don't want to lose any troops to it and it's more to flame like we don't want to lose a lot of things to the flame Okay, drop a flare over. We should have taken down the flame. Or take down the flame now. Take down the flame. Drop a flare to the headquarters. We'll try to move out of range of the super mortar. We did. We got that shock down. And we'll be able to get one or two more shocks down on this super mortar. And then it will target our heavies. And then our zookas. So we should be fine this time. I tell you guys, shocks are a lifesaver. Shocks are a lifesaver. So we will get our HQ upgraded today. Um, tip number one, I guess if I'm going to be doing a tip series, you need to upgrade your HQ as soon as you unlock it. Don't max out your base. I, I, I would say don't even worry about upgrading your defense of buildings until your sculptor, your gunboat, um, your gunboat, your armory, your radar, and your headquarters is unlocked and then I mean if you want to you can upgrade your defenses but personal personal take on this we got dr. Kavan here nice <laughs> nice um, let's hold off on our supply crate for a second we'll convert well wait yeah we'll convert wait no let's build it. <laughs> let's build it quick I want to see if it's better than one of these because we're gonna have to reclaim one of these, probably the 3% troop damage. Let's upgrade our headquarters also. We'll start that upgrade. Not very expensive, but yeah, we still need to do it. So we'll remove the level, I mean, the 3%. We'll drop the 4% down 
here and oh yeah we need to reclaim it <laughs> yeah uh we'll reclaim the troop hp we don't we don't care about troop hp i'm gonna keep resource reward for now resources are gonna start getting hard to come by pretty soon but we'll get our first magma guardian dropped which is gonna be pretty cool um yeah i'm so mad that was supposed to upgrade i was supposed to have warriors in today's video i really don't need to grab this supply crate so i'm not going to and Dr. T's out. So we're going to get so much loot from today's video. Because this guy is just... He is a freaking goat. Maybe I'll save this guy until I actually need loot. And we'll just hit Dr. T today. I feel like that's a better strategy. Because we'll only be able to take down the first one or two Dr. T stages. Which should fill up my loot. But Dr. T leaves in eight hours. And the level 62 I can defeat any time. Hopefully he doesn't redesign his base and as soon as I defeat the level 62 he'll max out all of my storages which is nice that's what we want I got super lucky getting him on my map honestly guys that that was some um, that was some crazy luck um, so yeah we'll, we'll try to get we'll just try to get um, him defeated in a later video if he doesn't redesign his base it's fine I am a little confused at like what his strategy is <laughs> like he's he's dropping prototypes down so he's using prototype parts but he has his HQ on the edge oh man I don't want to lose I don't want to lose a troop here I don't want to lose the Zuka. Um, so yeah he has his HQ on the edge which is weird because he has prototypes down and he also has the life statues so is like, is he just dropping life statues and just going resource production? I don't, I don't know what his what his plan is, but he cannot be getting too much loot down as far as he can. He's honestly the lowest leveled player. I mean, no, the highest leveled player at this metal count I've ever seen. A level sixty two, not quite close to max. Like he still has quite a bit until he maxes out. We'll grab the shards we're good on loot for a while um not quite close to max yet but it's it's crazy like he's strong i don't know i don't know what his strategy is anyway um as soon as our hq is upgraded we're gonna try to get all of our landing crafts to level eight so we can hold um first of all 12 yeah, at level 8, we'll be able to hold 3 heavies in every boat or 6 zookas in every boat. And that's when it's going to start getting fun. And I want to see when I unlock the next landing craft, level 9. So, not this one, but next time. Okay, I have a lot of loot. And it's kind of a waste if I go in and attack. But I have all this loot just stacked up here. So, what can I do? What can I do is the question. I'm kind of tempted to gym this up. It's a hundred and it's, it's like a buck buck 19 You know, there's no incentive to drop Defenses right now because when you're first starting out boom beach you just want to be focused on Like upgrading upgrading stuff Upgrading your offense get your a decent offense base down. So we're gonna gym this up we got warriors. I'm so happy, guys. I'm so freaking happy. We'll unlock the sub next, which is pretty cool. Also. So, radar needs to go up. And armory needs to go up. Okay. Uh, is there anything we can spend our gold on? Yes. Let's un uncover some more tribes. Oh, we got a tribe. <laughs> I meant clouds. Wow. That was weird. I said tribes before it even gave me that prompt. But tribes are pointless. For now, we'll get to tribes later. Okay. We have one more little distress. And we have a submarine landing here. And that is it for our clouds. So let's hit Dr. T. And hopefully we'll be able to beat this. This is looking hard. I want to see what the range is on this shock launcher. And see if we can stand out of it. It's going to be close. But I feel like, feel like we can do it. Okay, we'll drop our troops up here. 
I mean, up there, down there, whatever. And I dropped too much. Or retreat. Only gonna drop two on that cannon. I might take down the mortar using energy instead of the cannon. I'm not a big fan of mortars. I didn't realize that uh, heavies stood in the range of mortars, like the dead zone of mortars, which honestly kind of sucks because then the mortars hit Yazookas, target Yazookas and hit Yazookas, which is not ideal. You know, losing all of Yazookas to a bunch of splash is not fun. Anyway, the nice thing about having Brick here is we can activate her Gumboat ability or her, her hero ability, her active ability, and we should be able to take down these defenses. I, I need to upgrade the ability, I mean, um, artillery one more time, and then as soon as I un upgrade artillery one more time, then we'll start making some real progress. Because I'll be able to two-shot those cannons, two-shot the mortars, and likewise. Anyway. Flaring may not have been a good idea. Yeah, we lost a ton of Zookas. That sucks. Um, we lost four Zookas, which at this level is a lot. Okay, we have Shocks. Uh, I don't know how much is on this core. But we're going to get right up here, get down. We'll drop a Shock right off the bat. Just until our troops get stabilized. I guess you could call it. We'll see if this shot can hit us. No. Not right now. This is going to be close. You know what? Let's drop a shock. I don't know. See, dropping a shock isn't going to help us too much. Um, we'll, get a, we'll get some med kits ready. But yeah. We, if, uh, if the shock cannot see this clump of Zookas, we're good. But if it can... We are screwed. Come on. Yes. Yes. Okay. We are good. We should be able to be defeat the base. We'll activate our cluster grenade. Get, you know, a little bit of extra damage. Not even that much. But uh, we'll see. We'll look at our upgrades. Um, we'll get our armory upgraded for certain. So, I always upgrade my armory and my, uh, well, first I upgrade my sculpture. But I'm pretty sure I can't upgrade my sculpture until HQ9 again, but, um, but I, I'll always upgrade my radar, upgrade my armory, so if I'm ever maxed on gold, I can spend that gold to do something, um, so I can upgrade troops in the armory, that would be my first pick, and if I can't upgrade any troop in the armory, I can just up, unlock a cloud, you know, clear a cloud, because I need to unlock all of the clouds anyway, so might as well start chipping away at them. Anyway, Dr. T stage two is down. Got some good, good shards, good, good dark power stones and nice old loot. Let's upgrade the armory and we unlocked a quarry, which I'm going to build. I'm going to start upgrading my sawmill. I'm going to start upgrading my quarry. Probably won't drop all of my residences at the moment. Not a big deal for me. I don't even know if I dropped the quarry. We'll see. We'll see. I probably won't. Not until I need um, need EXP, you know. Anyway, voice is kind of failing. So I'll talk to you guys in the next Boom Beach video. We'll get some upgrades going. And uh, we'll over overall, we'll just get some cool stuff. But I guess we can start chipping away at this guy. Maybe use him to heal up my troops. I don't know if he'd be better than Brick. But maybe. Anyway. I'll talk to you guys next time.